There's three main engine configurations or engine setups that you really need to know more about. And because I see a lot of people making this mistake and, and sort of suffering for it later. So let's talk about that. The standard school bus is what they call a dog nose bus. It's your, your normal school bus. It's got a hood up front or like the, the nose of a dog and then it's got the bus part in the back. And those are fantastic buses. I, I'm not a huge fan of that style of bus, but there's nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them. In fact, they're very easy to work on the motor because you can tip that whole dog nose up and get to the motor, and that's key. They offer great ground clearance, so if you really want to get off road and go, you know, explore some stuff, you can put some like logging tires that have an aggressive tread and go on some of these unpaved kind of rough roads and really explore. That's pretty cool. They're, they're a good bus. You have to be careful because some of the older buses back in the 90s have a, a four-speed transmission. Now there's several different models, the AT545 and I believe the AT645, That's they're all Allison automatic transmissions. But if you buy a bus with a four-speed transmission, more than likely that bus is going to be very slow. Meaning that it's gonna be great around town, but when you hit the highways and the interstate, you're not gonna be doing much more than 55. And it's gonna be very costly in fuel because your motor is going to be right up on the limit of what it can do. So make sure you learn about what engines and transmissions your bus has and what you're looking for. 